Alright guys, it's James here today at Red Sky Productions doing another app review. Uh, I'm going to be looking at FSIM Shuttle. Uh, the first thing to notice about the app is that it takes quite a long time to load. Um, maybe it's because of this version, but I think it actually did it in the older version as well from what I remember as I've only just updated it. Okay, we're into the main menu, and I'm just going to go look at the menu option. There we go, we have a demo, help, settings, open, statistics, credits, and spatial. I've just clicked on to help here, and I think there's quite a significant help area to the, the app. I'm going to go to new flight, this is a very good area. Approach, I want to have a look at these settings. I'm going to go on to a final approach, which just means straight in. Edwards and 04. The time, I'm going to have it in day, clear. Uh, failures, I'm not going to have any failures, but that's good as well. Basically, now I'm just going to go look at what it's like to be in the app and experience it. Well, we're in the app now, and as you can see, this is the main view, the cockpit view. You can change the view, so I'll demonstrate that more in a minute. On the up, on the um, HUD you see here, the green HUD, we have um, altitude on the right and speed on the left and then just below that where you can see them two little like kind of arrow things on a bar that's just showing the speed brake and flaps really the graphics on this game are very good really uh, and it's very smooth compared to this recording as well it's 24 frames per second and on an iPhone 3GS and it's not really struggling that much at all I have got the iPad version of this app and that's um, incredibly detailed. Slightly more so than this because there are more, obviously a bigger screen you can see more and that's HD as well. It's coming in now, it's a bit rough. But there we go. And then you can pull the brakes there with the two levers that you see there. And that pulls the speed brake. And then at the top there it says G. That's just giving you speed. Once you get to zero the flight stops and you can replay it. So in a minute I'm going to actually show you some other views from the app. Okay, there we go. Here's the view from the runway. That's me coming in on the exact approach from the replay. Here I'm going to have a side on view of the uh, air, of the um, space shuttle. Coming in, there it is. And you can free roam around that. Zoom in, zoom out, do what you want. As you can see, it's quite graphically um, well made. And here is the tower view, I believe, as I'm rolling down. Not very eventful, this view, but it's kind of cool when you come in at night because it lights up the side of the plane as you come through the runway lights. So basically, that's it for this app review, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.